Greetings to your viewership, and welcome to another episode, preferably exciting, of D&D Order of the Griffin, one-man show for the TurboGrafx-16. Again, this uses the D&D 1st or 2nd edition basic rules, where human elf, sorry, human, is just the assumed race, and dwarf, halfling, and elf are classes, not races, where there isn't much in terms of mechanics, and, well, we're in the campaign setting of Mystara, the same campaign setting as the d, &D arcade games Tower of Doom and Shadows over Mystara. So, dear viewership, we'd like your likes, we subscribe to your subscriptions, and let's begin. Here are some notes about this game. One, if you, uh, if you are seriously considering getting this game, try it first in emulator form. This game came out for an obscure system, and it's somewhat obscure itself. Uh, watch this game if you aren't sure what I mean. I don't want to recommend you a bad game, but if you're really curious about how this game plays, well, watch this first, and if you still feel excited about it, then go ahead. Go as the Lord leads. Lord Corrigan is occupied at the moment, and will not be able to see you now. We can leave her attack. We will lead because I know what it's like to fight this guy repeatedly and lose. The guard smiles and says, I'm sure Lord Corgan will, will want to see you after you've completed your mission. Alright, we have 200 cash. Let's get us going. There's a small family huddled around the fireplace. The mother stands and pleads, Please free this, la this land of the great evil! The dire wolves are back! Their den is northeast here in the forest! Do not enter cores that you keep until you're ready! Okay, well, thanks, plot dumper. Oh, yeah, this is also basic rules where clerics don't get spells at level 1. On the upside, this is also basic D&D, where sleep is the most is the most powerful and important offensive spell at low levels. As I, and as I said in the intro video, I have my saves backed up for my first at uh, first run, the most important ones anyway. And don't be concerned about overwriting them, and don't write to all four files because it'll make saving saving the game slower. This is also a game where you expect after every fight to save, to rest, to save, make sure that everyone's at full resources so that you can actually continue playing because of stuff like this. And just so you know, I am pushing the run button on the in-game controller to uh, to activate turn done button. To activate spells, I am pushing button two. What the? Okay, for some reason the spells weren't working, but I was pushing button two. For whatever reason, that's that. Also in this game, we can't skip turns. Oh, sorry, we can't just delay turns. My apologies. The AI in this game tends to target at either the nearest or the creature 
with the lowest HP, current HP that is. So use this to your advantage. Meaning Squishy Wizard goes away. Sometimes you get multiple turns in a row for whatever reason. I know what happened with the spells. I didn't push the right button to confirm. Yeah, this game has been as very sensitive regarding button inputs. We're just going to reset this and try this one more time. Alright, let's assign our spells properly this time. Let's make sure that they actually count. Alright, good. Okay, we are about to save and take a nap. Okay. We are looking for the armory because there we can buy useful gear. We don't have 500 yet per spell to learn spells, and even if we did, we'd already have sleep, which will carry us through the early parts of this game. I do like how you can have your clear chant and do you know, some roleplay things in here. But getting a room and sleeping here does not recover HP at all. Arm wrestle! What the? But that's my two money, and I don't want to give it. That might seem petty, but oh well. Yeah, this game has an in-game compass, but no in-game map. So, if you're... Meekly. So yes, if you're... Whatever. So yes, if you're looking for a dungeon-crawling, fast-paced game, I recommend Might and Magic 3, 4, and 5. And I mentioned fast paced specifically because I uh, this just feels like it's overly slow. One more time. Okay, guys, what happened to you? I pushed the wrong button and it wasn't clear to me what button I should be pushing. Okay. Because in this game, at least, uh, yeah, there are a bunch of places where things have just had such high AC, where sleep, uh, sleep and spells have been the only practical way to get through the area. So there. I know that the screen is switched sometimes. I apologize, but I could not fix it. That was just something that happens here. Let's focus on the most important purchases right now. Three sets, three sets of plate for the people in our party who can use this gear. Yeah, we'll be getting some better gear pretty soon. But in the meantime... Yeah, everyone in this game should have a ranged weapon. Initially, this is a sling. Armor. Equip this. Okay. Yep. 
yeah, we'll just put this aside. Just in case we want to do more damage that way. I am purposely unequipping stuff before equipping it, before equipping new stuff, because that's just how it is in this game. Make sure that we put this on. Sure, we'll give him the starting gear back. Sell this, so now we can buy. Shields, normal shields for everyone. Well, everyone you can equip. So you might be wondering, I had the option to bring uh, to bring four people who can use both well, plate mail and shields, all weapons, but I but I brought a pure mage. So there. And I did this because I well, I also want to scatter when people level, because if more than one person levels at the same time, that means that that, that means there's potentially more uh, reloading I need to do to get through the random number generator to the ran to the randomly rolled HP value that I want for a character. Anyway, this used to be a store that sold goods. Now, uh, you see in the corner several frightened peasants. One of the peasants stands in and begs, Oh, kind heroes, please help us! A dark force has come upon this town and this town guard has turned against us. No one is safe. Go to the Hall of the Griffin. Only they can be trusted. Okay, we are attacked, but this time, we have magic! Let's put him to sleep. Yeah, that blue statue-like appearance means that they're dead. Well, technically hell, but they're one hit away from being dead. And yeah! Any character who is uh, paralyzed, like you know, asleep or affected by a whole person, dies in one dies in one hit from any damage. It doesn't have to be physical damage. Okay. Let's continue to explore this hall of the Griffin by going over here. There's a plaque on the wall that reads, Beware of the Dark One, the Vampire will rise again. Well, I'm glad we have a cleric to make undead explode in this game. Yeah, uh, turn undead works differently in this game than in future editions of D&D. It isn't undead wrong, it's either nothing happens, or undead explode and you get no experience, but they're killed instantly. You enter a dining room. There are strange shadows underneath the table. As you move closer to investigate, the shadows jump and attack. Yeah, this is old school D&D where people are casting directly from their uh, spell books, not using scrolls. But oh well, it'll deal. It'll do. That is why sleep matters. And that is also why we rest after every uh, every fight. We see a door that we haven't been through, maybe that we even have been, save before going through it. 
because there's a chance that there will be a fight, and there's also a chance, depending on details, that your party or someone in your party will love. There is an old man sitting behind a large desk. I am Atri, Lord Corgan's personal advisor. Go to the Hall of the Griffin. They will give you your first mission. Be careful, there are many spies within the keep. And as if and as if on cue, this is the kitchen. The smell is horrible. All the, the pots are all the pots are over, all over the floor. Green slime is oozing out of the pot on the uh, pot on the fire. Okay. The cook is lying face down on the floor in a puddle of blood. From behind the large shelves you hear, Alright, remember the poison is in the left tray. Give the right tray to Lord Corrigan and the left tray to Duke Stefan. Can you remember that? Good, let's get going. Two cooks turn the corner and see the party. They drop their trays and attack. Here's a trick. You can just uh, push the well, attack button on your controller and it'll automatically zoom to the uh, nearest opponent. Apparently the sleep spell does better if you just, sorry, if you uh, encompass the entire target with sleep, or at least get their head, if they're multi-tile. But oh well, it doesn't matter right now. See, if we didn't use sleep, we'd have to slog through slow combat. I don't like that. There are two women in green robes standing here. They smile and greet you. Welcome to Ratlet Ratlet Keep. We are members of the Order of the Griffin. You must go to the Hall of the Griffin to receive your first mission. There is also a temple in case you're injured. Okay, point taken. There is a mage here mixing colored potions. Come in, come in! Let me give you some advice. You need a spellcaster in your party. And they say this after after, after we made our characters. Always rest after combat to regain your spells. The sleep spell works well with most monsters. You said it, buddy. You said it. If one of your party should perish, go to the temple or the reload. Do not enter course at Seji Keep or Seji Keep until you are ready. Okay. There's an ancient book sitting open on the table. The book is titled The Vampire Saw. On the page is torn between uh, the page is torn where you are reading, but you can make out most of it. Four stones are the key: a ruby, an onyx, the death gem, and the diamond that binds them. Getting Lord of the Rings vibes with the One Ring to rule them all. Each will find new life and death, and each will serve without mind or soul. This is what I said about bossing down the door and picking locks. You break into a bedroom, and a woman lying in bed sits up. She screams, Get out! How dare you walk in on a woman without knocking? And then she just locks the door the rest of the game. Don't think too hard. There are undead guards here. You are attacked. All right. Well, what have we here? Okay, we have what might be what might be a credible threat. Even though I do want this thing to be put to sleep ASAP. Undead in this game are also immune to sleep. So there. And anything with too many at either hit dice or hit points, I'm not sure which, is immune to sleep automatically. Can we use turn undead? We can. Deal. 
Hallelujah. Yeah, something... Uh, this game is for people who really like low-level D&D in old, in, old, in old editions. Yeah, I have not liked that. What have we here? Are you the brave heroes that will rescue us from this great evil? Show me where those monsters are. are or ha have you already killed them all? Maybe you are the monsters. Maybe you've come to distract, destroy Radlev Keep. The guard lifts his sword and points it at your party. Fight. Oh, you threaten me, you will die. How dare you accuse us? At least they died in their sleep. Quote from the MCU. And it's just quick mop up work here. Look at all the gear we're getting. Uh, yeah, here is a mini boss fight. Bust down. You open the door and see the captain of the guard. He is sitting with two goblin warriors. They are plotting to overthrow Duke Stefan. The captain stands up and, and grunts. <laughs> you knock before you enter! Now, you too! Now you know too much and must be destroyed! Sight. Yeah, we're just waiting for them to come closer. Until then, we wait. We pass the turn. This is why I really like sleep. It makes battles last much, much less time. search button. If you're, if you're on the right tile, facing the right direction, stuff happens. Yes, of course. Save. Rest. Save. If you're playing this game for real, prepare to do the save, rest, save often. After every fight. At this point, they may as well just have made, uh, well, encounter-based powers, but those didn't come along formally until later editions. Ah, it's actually trying to sell, not buy. Okay, that's actually a magic short sword. Plus one. That goes to the fighter. Well, 
Why? Because it's plus one accuracy and it's a magic item. Yeah, in early editions of D&D, you simply had to have enough of a plus on a weapon to uh, to be able to hurt some certain things. Well, our cleric is close to being able to level, so get into a random fight or something like that, and we gain a level. You have entered the Hall of the Griffin, home of the members of the Order of the Griffin. One of the members approaches you when you tell him you are the noble adventurers hired by Lord Corrigan. He asks you, Do you wish to, walk to join the Order of the Griffin? Yes. All who seek to join the Order of the Griffin must first complete a quest of honor. Your quest is to find the leader of the evil Dire Wolves. His name is Cullum. The wolves are hiding a magic staff within their caves. Find the staff and return here. The wolves' den is in the forest northeast of this keep. There is... Uh, this is your mission. One warning. Be beware of the vampire Cor uh, Corsegi. Do not go near his keep. Yet. Okay, sure. Sure, we have the quest fly. Ooh, a teleport trap! Elden Ring was not the first game to use teleport traps. This predates it by about 30 years. Let's move him out of the way first. I say save, rest, save, because your party might be ambushed while resting. Watch. Maybe it doesn't happen here, but it can happen in certain spots. Anyway. Before we level, let's go check on Kerwin. His current HP is 9, he will level from this fight. What does that get us? Yes. Now, you find a captured prisoner here. Oh, thank you for rescuing me! They're going to take me to the den of the dire wolves! There was going to be changed into an undead creature! I was to be part of the vampire's undead army! Prisoner thanks you again and please. We got 6 HP from this, so not terrible, not wonderful. Let's reset and do this again, and if you are actually playing this game for realsies, expect to do this with every character at every level until you get the desired results. Also be careful because your spells can also hurt your team. Yes, I'm not 
reading it every time. 17. That's better. So we reset and do this one more time. At least fortunately for this level we can do it quickly. fit for tanking in this game, and there are no attacks of opportunity, but... So that's handy. Why sleep in? Because... He has the most HP! This just feels ridiculous. Yeah, I've complained before about grinding in other games like Final Fantasy, but in like Final Fantasy VI, Fights were often quick, intentionally. Okay, 14. Well, we'll just keep the... We'll just keep... One more time. We'll just keep this results. Because I don't want it to be be here all day, or even longer, rolling till we got it right. But now, because he's level 2, we can actually prepare spells. And by prepare spells, I mean cure, because that's the only spell worth preparing right now. So yes, this in essence is d, d the Order of the Griffin, except normally people don't level so quickly. But we're still playing low levels. This appears to be the Thieves' Guild. A slit on the door opens and two yellow eyes appear through the darkness. A voice asks, who goes there? No lie. We are the thieves sent by the Dark One. The slot closes and the door opens. The thieves shout, you are not the members of the Iron Ring? Sure, we'll lop his head off. After putting them to sleep. Best possible result is to put all of them to sleep at the same time. for all of them to stay asleep. Just target nearest with your ranged weapon. Kill him. Okay. Uh, Dwarfy over here, Tor, is soon to level.
yeah, this game is basically go uh, open every door, kill everything, and just be par just be patient. Welcome to my shop. I am Kane, the mystic, and you must be the adventurers sent to save our town. Kane places his hands on the crystal ball. The ball begins to glow. Kane speaks. I see many paths. Some lead to victory and some to destruction. And if you save, rest, save enough, and reset the game to ensure that you always have enough hit points to level up, you'll do a lot better. I see a ring made of iron. This ring has enslaved many innocent people. I see many who are not what they appear to be. I see the Dark One, the vampire, sitting on a throne made of bones. He knows of you. Cain lifts his hands from the crystal ball. You must find him and destroy him before he can complete his plan. Only you can accomplish this. He does not think you are strong enough to defeat him. May luck be with you. And by the way, while you're, go while you're out, get me something from outside, from the Renaissance Fair. He doesn't actually have a shop. Liar. He has a shop next door. Hey! I, you want sp looking for spells? I got spells. Or, get off my lawn! Either way, it works. Yeah, if you spam look around long enough, he'll try to sell you something. Potion of fire resistance, no thanks. I'm gonna buy one. Charm person, yes. I know that we have sleep, but charm person still works on certain enemies, probably higher power ones. Valos. Buy spells. Charm person. I should have saved before going in there. Because if we pickpocket successfully, we get money. I'll gladly take that quick 120G. I'll quickly take, I'll take that quick 110G. You either get the result you want, or you reload and sometimes reset. So, dear viewership, this is the essence of Order of the Griffin, at least so far. We haven't done any overworld explor exploration, but we'll just end the video here. Thank you, everyone. Good night. God, uh, God bless. We like your likes, we subscribe to your subscriptions, and we're looking forward to meeting with you soon. Thank you. Bye now.